when you're a kid, you assume your parents are going to be soulmates. Our kids are going to be right about that. Man. <laughs> to my almost husband, my best friend, my partner, my forever. Holy shit, we're getting married. Karen Luke, today marks not the beginning of your relationship, but rather the joining of your lives in marriage, the recognition of your 12-year partnership, and next stage of the love already shared in your hearts. Change is all we want. I feel that haunts. Caroline, it's finally here. The day I've been looking forward to for so long. The day I officially get to call you my wife. I can say with full confidence that asking you to marry me was the easiest decision of my life. I can only apologize that I made you wait so long. You often hear life described as an adventure, as a journey filled with experiences and emotions. The past 11 years have been every bit of an incredible, spontaneous adventure. For that reason, I don't feel anxious or nervous, but overjoyed to be meeting you at the end of the aisle today. You are my soulmate. I know what you're thinking. How did how did this superbly handsome homosexual Filipino from California come to be Luke's best man? Have any of you ever considered the power a handshake can have? It was the fall of 2013 and Luke Kerr and I were out at Toby's pub. With my hands shaking, I looked at Luke from across the table and I told him I was gay. And without saying a word or even skipping a beat, Luke reached across the table and simply shook my hand. It was in that handshake that I knew everything was gonna be okay, you know? That I could move to a city with millions of strangers and have this one person reassure me and make me feel like it was finally okay to be myself. Because you see, Luke, that's what you do for people. You bring people together and you bring out the best in all of us. I don't think it's possible for me to put into words just how much you mean to me. Today is the beginning of our new adventure, my most favorite one yet. I promise to support you, to push you, and to pick you up when you're down. I promise to be an amazing mother to our children and give you plenty. Only two. I only want two. <laughs> Luke, you are everything I've ever hoped for. You are strong, smart, and dashingly handsome. Your heart is my home, and there's not a day I have ever doubted that. Luke, do you take Kara as your wedded wife, and do you promise to share with her your happiness and sorrow, to stand with her through times of joy and times of uncertainty. I do. <laughs> and Kara, do you take Luke as your wedded husband? And do you promise to share with him your happiness and sorrow, building a life that belongs jointly to the two of you? And do you promise to love him, honor, and respect him? I do. <laughs> Beautiful. To the power vested in me, but most of all by the power of your love for one another, I pronounce you married. You may now call yourselves husband and wife. And Luke, would you kiss the bride? Dream about 
It's beautiful to me. Love like we never grew up. And live like you just give one tonight. We're kings and queens. One bling. We're all here today because not a single one of us was willing to pass up on the opportunity to see the beginning of the most important chapter of this incredible 11 year love story. The two of you have shown me how love is worth persevering for through all of its challenges, that the most romantic gestures are often the most subtle. And most importantly, you have shown me that the foundation of love is friendship. So I would like to raise a glass to Kara and Luke Mr. and Mrs. Foster and their exciting future together. Cheers, guys. The girls and I have always called ourselves the Four Musketeers. We've grown up together, we've rerouted our family, and through it all, Caroline has always been a source of inspiration, pride, and grace. And there are not enough words to express the way my heart feels when I see what an amazing woman she has become today. It might also not be too much of a surprise to you guys, but Kara and I are big fans of The Office. Um, and so with that being said, I'd like to quote something from our favorite episode. When you're a kid, you assume your parents are soulmates. Our kids are going to be right about that. Lou, you are everything I have ever hoped for. Strong, smart, and dashingly handsome. Your heart is my home, and there is not a day that I have ever doubted that. You are everything I need and more. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, it has always been you. Thank you for making me so incredibly happy.